Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the fifth anniversary of History Plays of the Past. My name is Leo, and I will be your host tonight. The play you folks will be viewing is about the industrialization of states, their expansion of overseas empires, and the establishment of new colonies. Enjoy the show. What did you learn in school today, son? I learned about British colonies in India. Oh, really? Tell me about it. Well, it started in 1858, after the Indian Revolution. Britain strengthened their control over their colonies in India because of their influence on the East India Company. Why was the East India Company so important? It was used primarily for trade and to exploit the good India had. The British government supervised the I EIC. That's interesting. How else did they strengthen their control? Well, India was unified through the Mughal Empire until their decline. This led to the political fragmentation of India as the British Empire was expanding into South, South Asia. The crown ruled and the crown rule ended in 1947, almost 100 years ago. What's wrong, son? I learned about some scary stuff in school. <gasps> what did they teach you? The British were involved, except this time they were in the Congo. There was lots of violence. The Berlin Conference resulted in King Le Leopold II having control over the Congo in West Africa. Everyone wanted the Congo because they had neutral resources like ivory, rubber, and other precious materials. How is this scary, Nemo? Listen, Dad. There were lot. There were also slaves. There were all that were used for labor. Slaves and ten million of them were killed because they couldn't meet quotas. That's very unfortunate. Let's talk about something else. Hey Nemo, I did some research and found out something totally cool. Probably not as cool as you, Dad. Ho ho ho. Nice one, son. It's more British stuff. I learned how the government made everyone believe that all convicts and criminals are brain damaged and cannot be reformed. So they sent them to... Australia! But some of them weren't so horrible people. Most of them just didn't listen to the government or, you know, the people in charge. <laughs> Dad. Okay, okay. But seriously, their punishment was often death because <gasps> of the increase in population and unemployment. People resorted to selfish acts, and that got them in trouble. The colonies of New South Wales, Victoria, Queensland, South Australia, Western Australia, and Tasmania united as the nation of Australia in 1901. Well, that's cool for the most part. Thank you for your attendance in tonight's penultimate installment of History Plays of the Past. 